the new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. The Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Uh, welcome to this uh, inaugural edition of uh, the revival of SCOOP uh, Sports Forum dito po sa MTV uh, Manila Times Television. Uh, ang ating pong topic ngayon, as usual, eh, siyempre SCOOP, eh, Sports Communicators Organization of the Philippines po ang ibig sabihin. So, sports ang ating pag-uusapan. At ang pinakahatest topic ngayong panahon na ito, I am Southeast Asian Games, which the country is uh, hosting uh, November 13th up to December 11th in separate venues, no? in Central Luzon, uh, Metro Manila, Laguna, Cavite, Batangas, uh, Clark, no, Clark, Central Luzon. Okay, so, at meron po tayong mga Ah, pero pala sa ano, nakalimutan ko may pakilala ating magandang co-host, si The Fiery, <laughs> Senator Nikki Coseteg. Good evening, Eddie, at good evening sa ating mga uh, ginagalang at kinikilalang mga panauhin sa gabing ito. Salamat, Eddie, sa iyong paanyaya na maging co-host sa araw na ito. Well, ang bala ko sana at saka balak ni Dr. Dante ang eh, permanent ka na eh. Naku. <laughs> Pag-usapan natin. No? Kasi, kasi, Pero sa, ngayon, sa ngayon, ang ko. maganda yung ating topic dahil ito po ay tungkol sa nalalapit na SEA Games. Nakapagtataka nga eh, November na yan, ilang buwan na lang. Mukhang tahimik na tahimik, wala tayong nababalitaan dito. Ako nagulat nga, no? na lang, Nagulat na lang ako na sabi mo nga eh, you know, um, Ilang, ilang buwan na lang ang, pag, ang paghahanda. Three months. Yeah. So, mabuti tanungin natin. Oh, before anything else, I think we have to congratulate twice. Double congratulations sa ating uh, bagong POC president, a um, congressman, Bambol Valentino, na siya po ang uh, kilalang-kilala sa tagumpay ng cycling dito po sa ating bansa. Ang uh, POC chairman, Steve Ontiveros, um, ng NSA po naman niya ay Handball. Naalala ko nga yung handball. Dati, laro ng bumbero yun eh. Alam ko, yung uncle ko. Yung uncle ko, yan ang sports niya. And of course, uh, board member Clint Aranas, also of the POC, mm-hmm. who is the um, head of the um, NSA for, for archery. That's exciting. You have to come to Diliman's Preparatory School and teach our kids archery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's ex- excellent sports. Okay po. Uh, let's uh, start the ball rolling. Uh, Well, naisipan po namin itong i-revive no, with the chairman uh, Ang dahil sa mga nangyayari. No. When I was in the U.S. kasi covering uh, the fight to Pacquiao and training, maraming mga sports writers from Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand ang nag-e-email sa akin na kung ano ba nangyayari daw dito. And then, sa kanila, Wala rin silang balita. <laughs> sa, sa kanila ko pa naalaman na si, uh, si Mr. Ricky Vargas, former president of the POC, nag-design. At ang pinag-aawayan daw, sabi nila, pera. Eh, sabi niya, Eddie, alam mo kasi, alam niyo kasi, there was a time na nag-organize kami ng Asian Sports Writers Association. At ang naging presidente doon eh, si Tony Sudayaw, the late Tony Sudayaw of the Manila Times, uh, Daily Express. Ako ang naging Secretary General being uh, Filipino rin, Filipino si Tony, so Secretary General. Pero nung, ano, bandang huli, nawala na yun. But still, ang aming contact ganon. 
Pag meron cover sa Pilipinas, sinutulungan namin sila. Pag meron cover sa kanila, tinutulungan. Yun, yun ay, yung coordination, cooperation, lahat. Mababait sila sa Pilipinas at concerns sila sa nangyayari sa atin. Tapos sinabi pa sa akin na, ang pinag-aawayan niyata doon sa inyo, pera. Totoo Sabi, yun. Hmm. Alamin natin sa sa presidente oh, ng POC dahil ayan, ayan. Si, ang POC ang dapat hmm. uh, tagapangasiwa at tagapamahala hmm. ng na, um, uh, SEA Games. Ma, 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 first of all, <laughs> maayong gabi. Maray, uh, just maray na gabi. Good evening po sa mga uh, nakikinig na nanonood ng revival ng scoop. Uh, Ikukorek ko lang po na hindi naman po siguro tama na pinag-aawayan na pera. pera. Uh, First of all, kaya po siguro bumituyo si President Ricky Vargas dahil talagang PO si President stressful job. Baka nabubuli naman ninyo si Ricky. Hindi. Ah, Kawawa naman. Stressful Kawawa job. Naman. Dahil, <laughs> alam niyo siya, galing siya sa corporate ah, house yeah. niya, PLDT, Spark, Miral, all MVP group of companies. <coughs> Tapos uh, galing siya doon, then uh, family pressure. Siya, very stressful. Kaya siguro siya hindi na niya nakayanan yung, uh, yung... Kasi nga, nag-aano pa tayo, mag-host pa tayo ng, ng, uh, ng 30th Sea Games na hindi dapat tayo mag-host. Mm -hmm. Dapat sa Brunei. Yeah. Yeah. Tinanggap lang Sinari natin. Lang natin. So short, very short uh, preparation for hosting and naman, even athletes. Pero ganyan naman, kayang-kaya naman natin, di ba? Lalo of na dyan ka na ngayon. Hindi. I mean, wala, dyan magaling ang Pilipino. Yeah. Ma'am, dyan magaling ang Pilipino. <laughs> Diyan magaling ang Pilipino yeah. sa hosting. So, Diyan sila hindi nagpapatalo. But you have 7 billion pesos, siguro. Six. Ah, six yeah, 6, only 6. Oh, 6 billion pesos, di ba? So, nabawasan. The okay. organizing committee requested for 7. Uh, binawasan, then ang lumabas po sa GAA 5, then nag-request pa ng additional 1 kay Presidente directly yung uh, Chairman of ISCO, si Speaker Cayetano, that it was granted. Mm -hmm. Kaya po umabot ng 6. Uh, Pero sa ganong klaseng, sa ganong klaseng outlay, no? alam naman natin na mahirap mabawi yan kung sa bawi lang. Pero syempre may mukha naman ng Pilipinas na kailangan natin pangatawanan at uh, panindigan kung ano man ang ating um, pangako at ating commitment sa ibang mga bansa. No? So, um, merong inorganisa na um, uh, organizing committee. Marami nagsasabi na bakit kailangan pa may organizing committee kung nandyan naman ang POC. Mm -hmm. Kailangan pa ba yun? O yung baan talagang patakaran? Yun po talaga, ma'am. Uh, 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 every SEA Games, even Asian Games, even Olympics, uh, Olympics, Olympics. lahat po yan merong organizing committee. Whether it's Malaysia mag-host, Malaysia organizing committee, Singapore organizing committee. Nung mag-host po tayo ng 2005, meron din po tayong organizing committee, the Filsok. Mansok. Filsok. Iba po yung man Mansok. Manila, Manila, Manila Organizing, Organizing Committee. Uh, so, hindi totoo na nagalit daw, nagalit daw, o may mga nagalit daw kay Mr. Ricky Vargas dahil inorganisan niya yun. No. Tama lang na inorganisan niya. Kasi ginagawa nilang dahilan yun eh. Mm -hmm. nag, nag organisa daw ng foundation si Mr. Vargas, kaya tinanggal siya. Eh, sabi ko, teka muna, tanungin nga natin kayo. Ayan, ayan. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Mr. Ontiveros, uh, para maintindihan ninyo kayo, Bago tinanggap ang hosting ng isang bayan, kailangan may uh, permiso sa gobyerno. Presidente. Without the guarantee ng gobyerno, we cannot host. The franchise na nga nasa NOC ng Pilipinas, ng Philippine Olympic Committee. Pero before that, binigay siya na karoon. Kasi actually rotation yan eh, of the 11 countries mm -hmm. ng Southeast Asian country. Ngayon, nakatoka actually sabi ni Presidente Bambolin, sa Brunei, which is true. Ngayon, dinanong uh, tayo susunod eh. Kung gusto natin, tayo tatanggap right away. E siyempre, papaalam, sabi ko, we have to ask uh, the government for approval. So, now, so, this year, instead of 2020. Uh, yeah, oh. mm -hmm. Kaya, yung binigyan nung, at that time, na approval ng gobyerno, okay, uh, na, then we push through with the hosting. Kasi without that, hindi may bigay rin sa iyo. Kasi yun ang requirement. Mm -hmm. oh, even Olympic Games, lahat yan. Kung walang kumpiyan ng guarantee, Asian Games or what, hindi mabibigay. Mm -hmm. ah, because they want the guarantee. Kasi kung walang support na ng gobyerno, ang hirap patakboyin ng isang uh, games, such as this. Sige, malaking ito yan. Mm -hmm. That is the 
history of the Southeast Asian Game. Ano naman masasabi nyo, uh, Mr. Aranas, tungkol dito sa setup ngayon? Dahil ilang buwan na lang, handa ba talaga tayo? May sabit ba yan o paano ba? <laughs> uh, I think the organizing committee man is doing their best to handle this one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's normal, ang gandang gabi po pala, ma'am, ma ma thank you for inviting me here for the first ever revival of the school. No? So, okay, salamat po. So, ma'am, to answer your question, ma'am, uh, it is very normal in any corporation. CPOC is a private corporation. It's a, it's a, it's a corporation incorporated under the SEC. So, siyempre, uh, we have a board uh, members and we normally form committees to handle certain concerns. No? So, you have like uh, uh, the, the, the usual committees and now when you always think like uh, Sea Games, you normally get a uh, form, form uh, mm -hmm. an organizing committee for that. So, form. yung mga members ng POC, nandun din sa organizing yeah. committee? Uh, of course. Well, that is the, yeah, well, we have members there, ma'am. Uh, in Philsoc kasi the last time is that lahat po na Philsoc members were all POC members. And in this particular case, uh, what was unique here is that we we opted to choose a uh, uh, Speaker Cayetano, to mm -hmm. be the chairman of FISCO, because at the time he's the Department of uh, Foreign Affairs Secretary, it was very quite appropriate to, to, ano naman, to increase our international committee among mm -hmm. South Asian nations. Uh, so, in this particular case, to your question, uh, I think uh, FISCO, as uh, they represented already, um, no? they made presentations, they're ready. When they're on time. They're on time. So, for sure, at least. Yes. Walang abaya. Because we, we heard that in the, the what, 2005, we hosted also here, right? Yeah. The, the Sea Games. Mm -hmm. There were complaints about how disorganized it was, etc., etc. But we'll, we'll leave that behind and learn from the mistakes and hope that it's not going to be, you know, committed all over again. Yes. Yeah. But we were champion, ma'am. Uh, yes. Uh, overall champion. So, dalawang bagay yun. Yung, yung pagkakaroon ng napakaraming medalya at yung pag-aayos ng organisasyon para hindi magka-aberya. Or matuwa yung mga participants, other countries. Pero ngayon, we're trying both. Uh, Mag-level up yung standing natin. And of course, ipakita natin kung gano'ng gagaling mag-host ang Pilipino. Uh, how does it look? How does it look? Um, where do you think we're going to harvest the most medals? Um, ma, maraming nakatago ang ang Pilipinas, oh, especially, in, <laughs> especially in combat sports. <laughs> yeah. oh. Especially in combat sports. Okay. Uh, mahirap talagang i-devolve kasi baka mapag-aralan. Just like other yes. competition, yeah. mahirap talaga sabihin kung saan tayo mag-excel. But definitely, kahit ang archery, hindi niya sasabihin kung ilan ang, ang goals nila, pero... Definitely, they will deliver. Pero somebody from the fish, uh, from the fish dock, eh, kahapon na basa ko sa Manila Times actually, na we can, sabi, uh, win the overall championship. Na something like 120 to 130 Hopefully. gold medals. Wow. Nung parami yun na. Nung inumpisan po yung fish dock, I was the sports director actually <laughs> before <laughs> I was elevated to co chair. So yung pung department ko, kami po yung nagresearch. What sports, ilang events, uh, sino-sinong nag-excel doon, counting back uh, 10 years ago. Lalaro pa ba ito? Lalaro pa ba ito? Ilan ang anak nito? Ngayinan na ito? May bago ng kapal, etc. Et so, we come up with that uh, 56 sports and 500 plus uh, events. And nabibigyan naman ng support ay yung mga atleta, yung yes. mga pangangailangan yes, nila yeah. for this, in this particular situation. Yung 56 sports record dyan, ha? Yeah, this is the first uh, uh, first time. Uh, kaya mahal, history. kaya malaki yung budget. Exactly. Kasi oh. depende yan, di ba? Ang dami mong mga pangangailangan. Okay. Bawat isang sports uh, delegation, ang daming kailangan. Officials, yun. athletes, all all uh, all technical Vehicles. delegates, vehicles, uh, hotels, mm. accommodation, Food. foods, halal <laughs> foods for uh, brother yeah. Muslim. Lahat po kailangan ibigay natin. So, Sa panahon naman ni President uh, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, may pakita naman natin na uh, kung, ga kung gaano tayo kagaling mag -gos. So, dalawa po target natin. For, well, of course, the overall and the best uh, 
hosting so far. Mm -hmm. With this 56 sports. Yeah, we have we are expecting 8,750 athletes. Among yes, plus, uh, plus uh, 11,000 uh, 11, athletes. Okay. Almost 11,000 11, uh, mm -hmm. participants. Athletes and officials. Athletes and officials. Yeah. So at 10,000 pesos per person, that's already... Uh, with uh, 14,000 volunteers, ma'am. <laughs> from different universities, schools, uh -huh. and... At saka hindi tayo dapat mapahiya dito dahil sa 30th anniversary ng Southeast Asian Games. Our president is Duterte. Duterte. Duterte Southeast Asian Games dapat, di ba? And of course, ma'am, kailangan ipakita natin yung original concept ng SEA Games. Before SEA Games, yung SEAP, kaya naman po nagkaroon ng, as far as I know, kung ikokorek po ako ni Manong Ed, ang original concept po niyan, hindi po competition. Friendship for all nations. Friendship first. Friendship first. Friendship first. Kasi ano ito eh, produkto kasi ng ASEAN ito eh. Produkto ng ASEAN. At, you know, President Marcos din was a signatory of the ASEAN. So, pumayaw na. You know, and mula naman nun, three times na nag tayo nag-host, Lagi namang ganyan eh, may problema. Noong 1981, isang oh. linggo na, wala pang equipment. Yung reserve memorial... <laughs> may tulo pa doon sa UL, so, tanda ko no? Yung reserve memorial stadium, hindi pa yari. Wala pa. Pero sila, mayroon may, may mga nag-suggest na naman. Ay, kasi lang natin. Sabi ni Marcos, hindi mo pwede i-quantify yung benefit na magigay ng country pag-host nito. Sa pera, hindi, hindi na ako quantify ng pera sa iyo. Natuloy, noong uh, 1991, was worse. May pinatubo, may baha, salite, yung kalam, may lindol, di ba? Pero sabi din ni Senator Drill, tanggalin na natin dito yan. Let's give him to, ano sa mga pwedeng maka-afford. Sabi ni Cory, no? This is an international commitment. Pinangako natin, two years ago pa ito. Sundin natin And then we painted the town red, you know, Manila, pinaganda lahat. At nag-respond naman ang ating mga athlete. For the first time, second place tayo, overall. Maybe one. 91. Kaya hindi na kayo love 91 yun. Ngayon, last, ano naman, 2005, hindi masyadong maraming problema dahil pera lang eh. Eh, nandun naman si First Gentleman, nag-solicit ng fondo under the grandfather scheme. So, nakaraise naka siya ng 160 million. Nag-train ang ating mga atleta. Na result overall tayo. Okay, on that note, balikan natin ang ating talakayan pagkalipas po ng ilang saglit. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational. Tuloy po tayo sa ating talakayan. Medyo gumaganda. Marami tayong natututuhan. At siguro, Mr. President, imbitahan niya si Senator na maging consultant or advisor or whatever. Bigyan niya naman ako ng trabaho. Bigyan niya na isang NSA. Definitely. Bigyan niya na isang NSA. Mas... Marami siyang, mas marami po siyang alam dahil oh. marami po siyang dinidevelop yeah, na school uh, swimmers. Oh. Na diverse swimmers and swimmers other sports. Swimmers not divers. Yeah. Wala, wala kaming diving swimmers. facility. Alam po namin yun na, na isa kayo sa pinagkukunan ng magagaling na swimmers on your grassroots uh, program. Yes, it's, a, it's important kasi naniniwala ako na the earlier they start, no? pati paghawak lang ng bola eh. Pati yung kilos lang, yung hulog lang ng katawan, yung papa, you know, all of these things will add up to their, to their um, skills later on. No? But just a little, just to go back a little bit to the facilities, 
yung facility kung maayos ang pagpapatakbo, pwede rin maging attraction yan for tourists nationwide or even international tourists. No? It can, they can have um, an open park, they can have a playground, they can have other things going on simultaneously. It's really not going to be, doesn't have to be a waste of money or you know, a waste of resources. No? I think the LGUs can also... Management actually lang sa facility. Actually take care of that, yes. Actually, money is spent in sports. It's important hindi naman aksaya eh, dahil... Mm -hmm. Remember, sports is uh, citizen development. Yeah. At least you'll have a healthy citizen. Yeah. Yeah. Kung wala citizen. ka mang medalya, at least you'll have a healthy <laughs> oh, citizen. Yeah. Yung mga mag gold medal sa mga Asian, ano lang yan eh, bonus lang yan eh. Bata. At saka ilan oh. lang yun talaga, oh. mga ilang bata lang yan. Yeah. Ganun yan. Yeah. Sports. Hindi yun hindi na intindihan na ating mga leader na ang napakalaki na kanilang responsibilidad towards developing healthy and, uh, you know. Uh, Just like, uh, ano po yung skateboard parks? Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the first world. Yes. That's fun. Bawat sa Italy lang. Bawat skateboard park. So, I used to enjoy that. <laughs> skateboarding. <laughs> skateboarding. <laughs> skateboard park. Mm -hmm. And that's not very expensive to develop. Oh. Oh. Na mention ni Atone yung si Ramon Brobio. Don't you know that uh, Ramon Brobio was oh. competed and beaten Tiger Woods? Oh. Yes. No, ano? Yeah. Sa, uh, That's how good our players are. Pag uh -huh. ang pool natin wala, maayos. Wala, so, pero kailangan, no, may sasaluho sa koleyo. Yeah. May sasaluho talaga on training going moving forward. Because But see, and, and also programs don't run by themselves. Yeah. Programs are run by people. Yeah. So, no matter what happens, you can have an excellent program if the person who's handling the program is not qualified or has other mm -hmm. interests, etc., for whatever reason, right. that program will fail. Yeah. Now, it's even worse if you have people who cannot run a program yeah. and don't have a program on yeah. top of it. The, the challenge, <laughs> of, <laughs> the challenge of good NSA, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to speak for my NSA. We do have a program for that one, but keeping the interest especially in the college level, it's another challenge. It's really a challenge. It's, you have so many stimuli out there and they have so many other interests out there. So, if, you know, if you, you, it becomes part of the school curriculum. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, like in, in very popular sports organizations, then it can gain ground. Now. I remember in 1981. 37 gold medal lang tayo. Oh. Apak doon, galing sa Archie. Men and women. 19, oh. 81. 81. 81 oh. After that, wala na. <laughs> De, magkalita sa Pilipino. Eh. May natural talent tayo. Eh. The Archer, actually. I, I can't recall Guerrero. her name. Guerrero. Ja Guerrero. Oh, Jacqueline no, no. or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure yeah, about that. John or uh, uh, Joan or uh, Joy Marino. Are, are you referring to what 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 what, what, what 1991 sir? 1981 Southeast Asian Games. The ah. first time uh, hey, they, they, we, they, we, they, we have several. Nakalimutan ko lang eh. Kasi ni Senator, yung kasali sa Athens eh. June, yung lady. Yes. Uh, oh, the qualified on sa. Uh, Nakalimutan ko pa pangalan right now. I was with the, that lady that, yung siya sa Abuko, the wonder lady for actually. Good medal. So we have a program but to keep that interest has to be there like cycling is very strong in the Philippines, ah, in the Philippines. and dami dami siklista it's just that on college people offer scholarship uh, uh, you know scholarship providing sports so basketball <laughs> also because of the commercial support yeah, the commercial yeah. value behind it that's why it's really it's really a sport mga natin mga newsboy natin Ako, ganyan ako sa newsboy ako eh. I started in the newspapering business uh, as newsboy, Manila Times. Manila Times. Kaya ako sa UP. Ikaw ba yung nakaganoon sa Manila Times? Doon lang ako. Ay, isa ako sa modern nun. Meron. One is uh, Pernelio Padilla Jr. Ako isa doon. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, but there's really a lot of future in, in, in this. No? It just has to be set properly. And I think the POC has a, a, a really a difficult task ahead but um, since you have the proper leadership i think that um you know congressman tolentino can do wonders also you just have to call a spade a spade or a damn dirty yeah. shovel <laughs> yun lang yun hindi hindi yun pang pwedeng pakikisamahan mo lahat eh di ba kasi hindi naman lahat ng pinapakisamahan mo may talagang interest sa sports doon mo gamitin merong interest sa sarili niya doon mo gamitin ang pagkabara ko mo <laughs> diba? <Yeah. laughs> yun. You just have to call a spade a spade or a darn dirty shovel. Yeah. And are you going to do that? Of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kung yun po ang direksyon natin, paano pa tayo makaka... 
step up sa sports. Uh, mm-hmm. We will not impose those uh, reforms. Because sports is serious. It's just that people don't take it seriously. Sometimes, oh. kung meron kang reklamo, kung may, mm-hmm. gusto, meron kang gustong baguhin, mm-hmm. yeah. parang natitrivialize. Kaya, yun din ang isang problema dyan. Parang binabaliwala, o maingay lang yan, ingit lang yan, o yung, ma- natitrivialize, pero yung mga issue na yan, ay talagang malalim ng ugat ng issues na. Marami tayong field Sayang. na... Ina- Sayang yung pool natin. Marami Sayang tayong field na ina-excel natin. Can you imagine if we were exporting more athletes rather than domestic helpers? If you had a massive sports program in the public schools for men and women, di ba, ang dami bansa naghahanap ng atleta eh. Tinanin niyo po sa ang chess. Ang dami! Si Wesley So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sa team po na. nag-start yun. Oh, yeah. Sa Amerika so, na. Tagaytay po ang first team noon. Nandun na. They, kasi they offered the green card, housing, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. scholarship mm-hmm. sa West mm-hmm. Webster University. So, US eh, team na. Eh, dito sa atin, incentives na. Ayaw pa ibigay. Pinabawi <laughs> pa yung bibigay dapat sa kanya, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, ang, 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 ang mundo naghahanap ng atleta. I remember, you know our coach, Renzi Bahar? Mm, yeah. He was an import. He, he went to Indonesia to play basketball. And there are many other countries that are looking for um, coaches, looking mm-hmm. for trainers, looking mm-hmm. for... Ang dami. Yeah, Lydia De Vega. Oh, and, Singapore. And, Singapore. and the more sophisticated Singapore. technology, you know, um, becomes, then, lalong nagiging specialized masyado yung training ng atleta eh. Mm-hmm. Dati isang coach lang, ayos na. Ngayon, may conditioning coach. Mm-hmm. May, may, ang dami-dami na pwedeng iba. mabigyan ng... May offense, may depends. Ang uh, uh, dami, ang dami <laughs> na pwedeng mabigyan ng pagkakataon. But we also have Come to educate the parents. Well, because I think the parents have to understand yeah. that it's a different intelligence, di ba? Sabi ko nga eh, yung, yung, yung pwede mag-isip, marami kang araw o oras na mag-iisip. Yung atleta, that split second, kailangan mag ka. Kung basketball yan, ilang beses ka mag-dribble. Tatlong beses ba o apat? That, that can spell the difference. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Dito ka ba mag-shoot o hahakbang ka pa ng isa? And you have to decide Uh-oh. within a few seconds, di ba? So, so all these things, really, really, is yeah. really taxing. So it's really a different intelligence. And the, the, the sooner we accept that this is a, a um, um, what they call this, a rare find, maybe the better you know, ways we can look for to develop them. Philippine TV has arrived and we are here to lead the way here to deliver unbiased news here to spark fearless conversations here to redefine intelligence here to spread hope here to get your adrenaline pumping here to give you an inside look here to pay tribute to legends and here to let your genius shine at the end of the day we're not just here to inform not just here to entertain we're here to uplift the filipino spirit the manila times tv 
Aspirational. Inspirational. Babalikan po natin ang ating talakayan tungkol dito sa darating na Southeast Asian Games. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan, November 30 to December 11. Kaya tayo po, mahilig sa social media, marami po tayo nakokontak ng mga tao, hindi lamang dito, kundi galing din sa ibang bansa. <coughs> Eh, kung simulan natin po yan, napakalaki pong tulong magagawa natin para mabigyan ng atensyon at mag, mabigyan ng importansya yung pong ating Southeast Asian Games. Siguro mananawagan din tayo sa ating mga paaralan no? na payagan nila yung kanilang mga bata, yung kanilang mga estudyante na manood din itong mga ibang palaro na ito. At um, pakikingan po natin yung pagpapaalam din ng ating mga panauhin. Simulan po natin kay um, uh, Clint. Uh, ano nawa agad po ako suporta for the SEA Games kasi malaking bagay po sa mga ating mga atleta nakikita ko kayong uh, nakikita ko kayong binibigyan yung isang suporta malaking bagay po sa atin yan sa ating pag uh, uh, sa ating uh, quest for gold uh, also dalawang isang kailangan mo natin maintindihan lahat ito ng sports ito ay nanggagaling ito sa training and everything so uh, ano nawa agad po ako sa mga magulang out there na sana ang encourage nyo yung anak nyo na sumali ng mga sports para ho ang ating pool for the nation on sports lumalaki po at lumalaki yung pag-asa at chance natin kumuha ng maraming medalya in the future. Ang tema ng um, uh, Southeast Asian Games this year ay win as one. Yes. Diba? Kaya kung ano man kanina well. nabanggit ni um, Eddie, yung tungkol sa Friendship. magulo o kaya hindi yung nagkakaintindihan, siguro ngayon na uh, nagkaroon na ng eleksyon dun sa Philippine Olympic Committee, no? uh, meron na maliwanag, mas maliwanag na ngayon kesa dati. At um, ang panawagan siguro na dun din sa media at sa mga commercial establishment, sa mga negosyante, dahil ngayon, meron pa tayong pagkakataon, makatataka natin yung ating mga produkto, yung mga consumer products, mm -hmm. di ba? para merong souvenir o merong memorabilia na maikokolekta naman ng ating mga participants at yung mga audience o yung mga spectators. Di ba? Um, pakinggan po natin yung chairman ng Philippine Olympic uh, Committee, uh, <laughs> Mr. Oh. Camacho, at sabihin natin na... Uh, Nagkakaisa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. At siguro dito natin makikita na malapit na magkaroon ng, o ngayon na, nagkakaroon na ng pagkakaunawaan. At yung sinasabi nilang gusot, sabi nga ni Eddie, pagkatapos na ng SEA Games, tsaka kayo magsuntukan. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Steve? Okay. Uh, Maraming salamat sa mga listener dito sa Scoop. Of course, I'd like to thank uh, Eddie here, who is my good friend here, long time ago. Not old uh, friend, a good friend. Good friend. <laughs> And of course, Senator Nikki for being with us. And of course, to your chairman, Dante Ang, to revive this uh, show. Di ba? Mapasalamat ako because importante dito sa atin is that yung awareness ng sports. And one of the thing is that I've been in sports for so many years. I love my good friend here, Eddie here, that uh, my heart, siguro, half, more than half of my life, nasa sports na ako. And of course, uh, uh, with uh, this program, Makakaroon ng awareness na dito sa bayan natin that the sport is uh, very good for all of us here. Kaya, let's pray that uh, itong Southeast Asian Games natin this coming uh, end of November hanggang December 11 will be a success and also good luck to all our athletes. Maraming salamat. Maganda rin yung kumisa nagkakaroon ng gusot, Eddie, di ba? Yeah. Dahil parang natatauhan tayo eh. So, after that, after the whirlwind, kumbaga, nagkakaroon din ng oras ng pagkakalmante. At um, tamang-tama siguro, tsempong-tsempo, na si Congressman Bambol yeah. ang naging presidente ng Philippine Olympic Committee. So, may we hear from you kung ano talaga ang ngayon, magmula ngayong araw na ito, hanggang sa <laughs> ika-30 so, ng Nobyembre, kung ano bang aasahan natin. Ma'am, after the gusot, uh, nananawagan din po ako sa mga kasama natin sa media na uh, tumulong din. Mm -hmm. na 
more on a positive side dahil uh, tayo pong host. Mm -hmm. Yung nga pong team natin, we win as one. Kasama rin po ang media doon, kasama po yung buong Pilipino doon as host ng uh, 30th Southeast Asian Games. Napakaraming pong sorpresa. More than three months na lang po, we will be hosting the biggest ever Southeast yes. Asian Games. 56, 56 sports. sports. There will be a lot of surprises. Very excited na po lahat. Marami pong surprises. Nandun po ang Arnis. Nandun po yung uh, much-awaited viewed sports. The e-sports para sa ating mga kabataan sa millennials. Mm -hmm. The e-sports. And of course, opening, ceremony, closing. Opening, excited din po lahat dahil hindi pa po dinidiscuss, pero ang alam po po dyan, si Bruno Mars and Apple the App ang sa opening, how, how big will be the show. And the first ever uh, opening indoor, indoor opening sa Philippine Arena. And this will be the first digital indoor opening. So malaking production number po ang, ang gagamitin doon. Sigurado dapat may... Upuan kami doon ni Eddie. Of course. Uh, <laughs> kahit, kahit kami na lang po nakatayo, kayo po, naka, <laughs> kayo po nakaupo. So, yun lang po ang panawagan namin. Uh, ito po mga susunod na araw, praying for uh, all the athletes sa training nila, sa facilities, uh, on time, matapos agad. Yung iba 90% na. And all preparation for this uh, 30th Southeast uh, Asian Games. So, we are now in fourth place. Mm -hmm. Right now, right? We're, sa, sa ranking na sa fourth, ta seven? Seven. seven in, in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Mm. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't think we can get any worse, than, get any lower than that. <laughs> so there's nowhere to go but up. Of course, yeah, of, course, of course, Mr. President. Of course, of course. no, Eddie. Sa tingin mo, ikaw, ikaw, ito si Eddie encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're encyclopedia. Eh. Ano ba yung masasabi mo, Eddie? Oh, yeah. Ako sa akin lang. Papasalamat ako at uh, napagkasundo-sundo natin yung mga ating mga officials, mga gentlemen naman sila at uh, sportsman. So, let's just hope na kilala naman tayo sa pag-organize. Eh, diba? We are one of the best organizers of uh, events of this magnitude. I mean, you know, baka tayo nga ang best eh. Kanya lang is Miss Universe, uh, Asian Games ng 1954, lahat dyan eh. Miskin na yung Southeast Asian Games na medyo magulo ang umpisa, na, 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 itawid. Na, itawid. na itawid natin. We can survive. We can survive. Pilipinas. Magaling tayo doon. Mas, masyado na tayong sagad sa hirap. <laughs> Kaya yung isang, yung isang hirap ha, bali wala na sa atin dyan. So wala nang bababa pa sa seven dapat. <laughs> so on that note, <laughs> masalang. Sa susunod ng mga episode, ay i-feature natin yung ating mga atleta, mga teams. <laughs> Sa sa atin, sila atin, yung magiging ngayon, magiging bida natin magiging ngayon. Bida. ngayon araw ninyo ito, sayang sila sila Chairman Ramirez hindi nagpaulak sa atin hindi sila nagiging great ngayon kayong tatlo ang great <laughs> mga atleta ng, po natin sa mata ng tao <laughs> yun so, ang kanila kamalasan <laughs> so maraming salamat Eddie okay. sa iyong paanyaya at, uh, sa, na makasama ka na sa araw na ito at, sana uh, naman eh, more power to your show sana, sana oh. naman mas maraming beses pa na yung magkasama <laughs> Okay, uh, on that note, uh, maraming po salamat sa inyong panonood at pakikinig. Uh, at uh, tingin ko naman, eh, napakaganda na ating naging discussion ngayon. Pero sa South East Asian Games, pumalaot pa tayo ng kung saan-saan. Pati yung uh, mga nalalaman ni Senator Nikki, nalaman din natin. Uh, sa susunod po mga episode, ay papakako namin sa inyo na ipifeature naman natin ng ating mga atleta yung mga teams natin sa na makiki makikibaka sa ating mga kapitbahay sa Southeast Asian Games. Salamat po. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived and we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. 
not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. Manila Times TV. Aspirational. Inspirational.